everybody and welcome to my channel um i have not been posting a couple weeks because i was really really sick um not with covid but i was sick and i had a really really bad sinus infection that affected my eyes my ears and my nose but i am back back to share with you guys the rest of my Juicy Couture collection. So I'm just going to say like the original Juicy Couture because it doesn't fit with the Viva La Juicy and it doesn't fit with the Juicy Couture We. So just the rest of my Juicy Couture perfumes in my collection, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you guys. Now it's going to be six different fragrances, but it's going to be seven bottles and you guys will see why when I go ahead and get into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first video that I'm going to be showing you guys today is my Juice Couture, Couture, Couture. Now, some of the notes in this fragrance is orange flower, mandarin orange, grapefruit, um, plum, jasmine, honeysuckle, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. Yeah. Um, so I hope I don't offend anybody when I talk about this perfume, but, uh, this perfume does smell like a really mature woman. Um, this is my second bottle. I will not be purchasing this again. So this is a fragrance that I will not be repurchasing. Um, I got it when I was a little younger and it made me feel like I was older, but now that I'm older, I'm okay with not smelling like I'm older. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm a millennial. So but yeah, now that I'm older, I don't need anything to make me feel older or make me feel mature. I'm actually mature now, so I'm good with that. But um, it smells like a mature woman, um, if you will. I am in the state of Georgia, so to me, and anybody in the South, you're going to know what I'm talking about. But to me, this smells like a, uh, a church perfume, something that you would smell in a Christian or a Baptist church. A black church. This smell like the the older lady that used to be sharp every Sunday, the one that had like the red hat, um, the red nails, the the red suit, the stockings, you know, the the red heels, just that whole outfit, whether it was red, purple, white, just you know that you know that older lady I'm talking about, not the sassy lady, but the older lady, the older lady that had all the same color on and she just swore she was sharp and she and she was she was sharp so you know something that you'll see on easter sunday that's what this remind me of so i will not be repurchasing it but it's a spicy scent i don't too much care for for spicy scents anyway so this is a really really spicy scent um i don't really get any of the fruit i can't even tell you exactly which note is making it spicy um, but it, it's a really, really spicy scent. And like I said, a really, really mature woman would probably enjoy this more than I am enjoying it right now. So that's how Couture Couture smells. Again, I don't want to offend anybody, but that's how it smells to me. Mm. Moving on to the next fragrance. That is just Couture Hollywood Royal. So in this one, it is candy apple pear, um, jasmine, marshmallow, and mush, just to name a few. I will pop the notes up either over here or over there, whichever side of the screen. But this one is a really, really fruity smell to me. It's fruity. It's fruity, and that could be the candy apple. But um, I don't really get any of the floral. It's fruity, and then I get the sweet marshmallow and the musk. So that's how this one smells. It's not my favorite. Again, this is one that I will not be repurchasing. So I cannot, you know, um, tell you guys to go out and get it. I would say go smell it. Go try it out. It might be your taste. It's just not my taste anymore. So I won't be repurchasing this one. So moving on to the next one. Now, this one is Juicy Couture. Malibu this one I will be repurchasing and I don't know if y'all can see for somebody like me to have a whole bunch of perfumes but it's more than halfway gone I love this one so the notes in this one the notes in this one is <laughs> let's see passion fruit watermelon apple jasmine two rolls and rolls are just to name a few of the notes that are in there but this smells 
Mm, I was on my leg. I had to dust it off. Whatever. Anyway, this smells like a vacation. This is the fragrance that I would wear on vacation. It's really, really fruity and it's really, really musky. So fruity and musky. I don't get too many of the florals. I get the fruit and then I get the musk. So I love this. This is something that I would definitely say is a vacation scent or either a, a summer scent. Could be a spring scent, but it's more of a vacation vibe. And when I think of vacation, I think of more of the summer season. So this is one that I would say is really, really good. It's really, really fruity, but then it freshens up with the must in, in you know, at the end, in the base. So I, I like this one. I will definitely be repurchasing this one. And hopefully I can still find it in the five ounce bottle because i keep seeing the 2.7 or 2.5 ounce so hopefully i can find another big bottle hopefully i can find it moving on to the next one all right so the next bottle that i have today is i love juice couture and i like this one y'all this is my whew, this is my third bottle of i love juice couture and i don't know if you guys can see that it has like a cheetah print bottle. I did not like the first one from this line, the I Am Juice Couture. I didn't, I didn't like that one. Still don't, still don't like that one. But I did like this one, and I'm ha I was happy that they came out with this one. And another thing that people don't realize is if you turn this bottle upside down, it is the top of the Juicy Couture fragrances. Let me just show you. Hold on, let me show you. This is the shape of like the top of the Juicy Couture. And then this is the shape of the bottle. So a lot of people don't know. They just probably think Juicy Couture came up with something new. Same concept, except this is the bottle and this is the top of the bottles that you normally see. But anyways, the notes in I Love Juicy Couture is candy, apple, currant, tiger lily, musk, and amber, just to name a few. And this is a really, really good smell. I love this. Now, it says it has candy apple in it. I don't get too much of the fruit. I really get the currant. I get the floral. And then I get the musk at the end. Um, I don't smell too much. Too much amber. It's a hint of amber that my nose is picking up. Again, everybody knows it's different. So, you're going to smell different things. But me, I'm not picking up more of the fruit. I'm picking up more of the, the currant. It's strong in this. Um, the tiger lily, I can smell that. And then the musk with a hint of that amber. So it's a sweet smell, but it's musky at the end. But I wouldn't I wouldn't call it fruity. I definitely wouldn't say fruity. All right. So moving on to the next one. That would be Juicy Couture, Couture La La. Now, the funny thing is this one and the... Next one that I'm going to be doing, a lot of people assume that because of the bottles are shaped like this, that it's a part of the Viva La Juicy line. They are not. That's why I did not include them in that video. But they look like they are. And I keep them together when I store them um, on, on my perfume display. When I store them, I keep them together because I like to be organized and I like everything that looks sort of like the same height to be all together but they are Juice Couture but they are not a part of the Viva La Juicy collection they're not a part of that flanker but they look like they are but anyways and this one is green apple currant orange blossom and musk and uh this is a really really pretty scent and it's cheap I won't say cheap but it's affordable it's like between 30 and 40 dollars this is my third one it's a really really pretty smell i'm gonna spray this one yeah oh you get the apple in the beginning so i would say this is a really pretty fruity smell um in the beginning when it dries down you get more of the orange blossom and the musk which make it more of a fresh scent so you get the green apple in the beginning when you first spray it. But I'll say maybe about, after about 10 to 15 minutes, once it dries down on your skin, you're going to get the musk and you're going to get the orange blossom. And they are really, really fresh. So this is a fresh scent, a fresh, pretty scent with just a little kick of the fruit. But a really good scent. Love this scent. Moving on to my last one.
Okay, so remember I told y'all in the beginning of the video it was going to be six fragrances but seven bottles? Well, here we go. This bottle is almost gone. Oh, first, the name of the perfume is Peace, Love, and Juice Couture. And again, I told y'all that the bottle sort of looked like it should be belong in the Viva La Juicy, which this one does. This one sort of doesn't, but the story behind these are this is the original bottle. And I like this bottle so much more than I like this bottle. Not quite sure why Juice Couture decided to switch from this one to this one. But when I when you see this one, if you prefer a bottle or if you are a collector like me, you may want to go ahead and get this one. Um, I got this one because I it took me forever to find this one, y'all. It took me forever to find this one. So I have two cents. This is my backup bottle from this. But I probably won't be spraying this one too much because it's hard to find. Like I said, this is the original bottle. This came out when I was in high school. And I'm not going to tell y'all when I graduated because that's going to tell y'all my age. But like I said, I'm a millennial. Anyways, I love this bottle. Now, if you are not a collector, you may not care about the bottle. You might just want to smell good. And these both smell good. But like I said, Juice Couture has switched to putting it in this bottle. Now, I'm not quite sure why they decided to downgrade the bottle. Maybe it wasn't settling the, settling the best. Not quite sure. I don't I don't work for them. But anyways, this one is the one that you're gonna find. Like if you're shopping in TJ Maxx or you know, Marshall's, you know, Ross, Burlington. If you see it in one of those, this is the bottle that you're gonna be getting. So please don't look at those bottles and think you're getting this one. This one is really, really hard to find. Really, really hard. So that's why I have two bottles. So this is my third bottle of this fragrance. So yes, I like it. When I use it, um, well, you can tell I use it, but when I use it, it's more of, I would say, springtime, summertime, mostly springtime. But once I finish using this one, I'm I'm telling y'all now, so y'all won't say, Lord, that girl is crazy. I'm telling y'all now, I will spray this one, but most likely I'm going to get another one of these to spray because, like I said, I'm a collector and I love this bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this one down so we can get into the notes. You know, I want to hold two bottles of perfume for the rest of the video. Anyways, this one again is called Peace, Love, and Juice Couture. And it has red apple, lemon, poppy, lime, jasmine, magnolia, and musk. Now, <laughs> I told my mom when I was describing this, I was like, Mom, this smell like somebody's bougie garden or somebody's bougie patio. Because it, it reminds you of outdoors, but I couldn't, I couldn't quite get how I wanted to describe this because I was like it smells like a bougie garden like a bougie patio like it smells outdoors but it smells good and I kept thinking and thinking and thinking and what it smells like and probably why I said a bougie garden is it smells like fresh flowers that's what this smells like and if I'm honest with you I know I just called out like the red apple and the poppy and the lime and all of that but this smells like magnolia magnolia is the prominent scent in this so if you don't like florals i would say stay away from this but this smells like a real magnolia and down here in georgia again i'm not sure where everybody is from but i am in georgia and down here we have a lot of trees and we have magnolia trees as a matter of fact there's one in my yard and um i keep my windows up to let the fresh air in because it's feeling good in Georgia right now but it smells like a legitimate a real magnolia sometimes you smell these perfumes and you like that's not how watermelon smells or that's not how kiwi smells well with this one if you've ever smelled a fresh magnolia that is what this smells like so if you don't like florals or you don't like a real floral a true floral then you will not like this perfume but I like florals. I like fresh flowers. I like fresh air. So I, I I like florals. And this, you know, this is reminiscent of home. Like I said, I'm from Georgia. So this one is a, a great one, I would say. I would recommend it if you like, you know, like, like nature and like, you know, to 
go and visit like some little gardens down here we have like a couple different things that we can go and visit that has like fresh flowers and like i said we have a whole bunch of trees here in georgia so if you're just an outdoorsy person and you're not like girly girly i would definitely recommend this one for you because like i said it's a a pretty scent but it's floral and it smells like a real floral uh, a true floral it smells like the real thing the real magnolia so that's what this one smells like a fresh magnolia and i guess that's again what i was trying to say when i said it smells like somebody's bougie garden or somebody's patio it smells like fresh outdoors but like i said i have a magnolia tree in my yard so it, feel, it smells like fresh outdoors to me because that tree is right there when i go on my patio so again if you like outdoors you know and you like freshness of fresh real flowers or true florals i would say this will be the one that you should definitely check out so like i said this one is almost gone and this is my third bottle again when this one is gone i am going to be purchasing another one so i strongly recommend this one but again you do not smell any of the other notes i would say maybe at the end you might smell a little musk, but magnolia is really, really prominent. Now, honeysuckle is in this too, and you might smell just a little bitty, little bitty honeysuckle, but magnolia is the prominent note in this to me, to my nose and what I smell. Again, like I said, different people pick up different notes, but the magnolia is what I smell the most. So that brings us to the end of the video and that is the rest of my juice couture collection uh again if you want me to do a review on any of my perfumes or you have any videos that you guys want to see don't forget to drop that in the comment section hello and i'll be glad to do those videos for you again thank you for watching i appreciate all the support and don't forget to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video